this current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. Hi guys, and welcome to The Space Between. This week we're going to be taking a look at some of the things that were installed on the boat uh, from the beginning or, you know, in the middle, like the Stone Coat countertops. Um, we really like the countertops. I don't think they could have come out any better. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. We've had one issue, and that was we put a Publix cake on them. For some reason, the countertops didn't like it and the cake stuck to the countertops. But it took a little work, we got it off, but it was not that big of a deal. The other thing is, is it was really easy to do. It, and the guys that came down, we can't thank them enough, uh, from Stone Coat, we had a ball with them. And this is probably one of the cheapest and best upgrades you could do to your boat um, if you weren't liking your countertops. As you can see, they're a couple years old now, we've got no scratches, uh, we've got no wear marks, I mean, and we put hot uh, pots and pans right on them and it doesn't seem to bother them. So, stone cook countertops, you can do it. One of my biggest complaints on this boat was how bad the toilet smelled with uh, seawater. And so we tried this product uh, a couple years ago called the Commoderizer. And it's really easy. You spin, spin off the cap, uh, drop a pellet in. I just put my finger over it, I drop a pellet in, and I spin the cap right back on. A little bit of water, but not much. But the best part about it is, is the toilets don't stink. And uh, seawater puts a, uh, a scum line around a toilet really, really quick, and we don't have those issues. So, love the Commoderizer, two thumbs up. So, one of my favorite products, one of the things that I bought before I even bought the boat, was my Ultra Anchor. This thing is awesome. I it has held in some of the worst weather. Um, it still looks great. It is scratched to hell because I have drug it across every uh, rock in Florida. Um, but I cannot say enough about these anchors. They are by far the most superior anchor that I've ever come across in this industry. As a matter of fact, they're so superior that we are putting one on the new boat. Yeah, there might be a new boat. You never know. So, one of our second biggest expenses was the audio system on the boat. Now, JL Audio worked with us and we really appreciate everything they did. We are in our fifth year now with this system and I, I I can't even uh, begin to tell you the, the difference between JL and a lot of the other brands. Um, JL is so much more crisp and cleaner. Their amps just deliver premium sound to all their speakers. However, the head unit. We've had a lot of problems with the head unit. Um, we're on our second head unit now. Um, this head unit has a uh, a tendency to squeal when the generator's running, and we've tried just about everything to get it out of there. Um, other head units don't do that. Um, so I'd have to say, you know, speakers, amps, 10 out of 10. Head unit, I think if I were gonna do it again, I would probably replace the head unit with, uh, with a different manufacturer. Uh, I'm not sure who, but... And yes. Yeah. Last but not least, our precious sea deck. Uh, the guys came out, they fixed it, they took care of it. It does not peel up, the corners are not coming up. It's absolutely wonderful. We have a bubble right here, but we know what that's from. 
the bubble comes from the screws that are underneath it. Uh, when the sun heats it up, it draws up and goes down. Um, the guys are coming out to take a look at it to see if there's something we could do about it. it like I said, though, that's there's one here and one here, and that's where the hinge points are. We know, you know, we know what it's from. Other than that, we have not lost a piece. We don't have any pieces peeling, and it is probably one of the biggest uh, expenses, but well worth it on a boat because it just it it totally changes the look of the boat. We've been. Um, on newer boats here recently doing some work and uh, it just the footprints that end up on the decks the uh, you know how hard the decks are on your feet and on, under prolonged situations one of the biggest questions people ask us about the sea deck is does it clean up well we're going to find out right here along with you. This is the wonderful product that we do not allow on the boat called red wine. So I'm guessing it's going to stain. What do you think? Uh, I'm guessing it's going to stain as well. And I'm guessing that even some of your magic... Uh... Deck magic, yes. All right, so let's see. Clearly red wine stain. Oh shit. Oh uh, shit. Wow. Um, it says fiberglass though. So. That's wild. I am. Alright. <laughs> so if you get it off right away. Wait, 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 wait. Now something's coming back. I'm going to let this sit a second. I mean, that bed beaded. How do you say it? Um, yeah. It beaded up on it. Um, well, but that's what a, a spill would do. Right. So, I mean, and as long as you got the spill off fairly quickly, let's see if we can work it in a little bit. Let's see if we can make it stay. <laughs> now, um... Now we'll let that sit, and we'll get right back to it. Well, will it come right off? What the hell? We've been lying to all of our guests this whole time. Do not tell Billy and Katie. Oh shit. That's amazing. I am like really... So you know, everybody always said, you know, that, um, oh, you, you can't clean fish and stuff on this end, but we know for a fact that you can because of the blood. Uh, from the fish doesn't stain it. So, I guess we're going to have to let Billy bring some red wine on board. <laughs> we're still going to put it in a sippy cup. I don't know about the cushions. Well, no, they definitely were stained. Well, we did put the that waterproofing. waterproofing on the cushions a while back, which, honestly, I wish I'd have, I'd have known about that before, uh, or after I got the cushions the first you know the first year is that that waterproofing has just been absolutely amazing look at that like it never happened dun 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 I mean that dot was there well I am really impressed <laughs> myth busted myth busted but the sea deck is just amazing. It's awesome. Um, I think this is our second year with this now. So, and Holly loves her yoga, her yoga deck up here. You have to excuse me being in the shade. We're in Florida. It's hot. We like it so much. Might be it. Oh yeah, we like it so much. It might be on the new boat. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this answers some of the questions that uh, we've been hit up about. Um, totally still blown away by the uh, red wine on the sea deck. But um, stay tuned next week and uh, you'll get to see something new and improved. Like and subscribe.
Don't forget to like and give us a thumbs up.